Pennington, ladies and gentlemen. She is the TV critic with the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. She is our uh, friend here and joins us every uh, Monday at 820. Good morning, Gail Pennington. Good morning, McGraw. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Gail. So I read your piece in the stltoday.com about the opening of Mad Men. Mm -hmm. Uh, You you forewarned us that maybe there were a couple of spoilers, but it was still a very good story. Mm -hmm. I, I I, we were being overly cautious, I think. Did you think I really had any spoilers? No, I don't, I don't think so. N- no, but you know, in a, in a in a show like that where you want to save her every second, you just, I think in you well, know, giving somebody of mine said, "I'm not going to read your story until afterwards because I don't want to know anything at all." I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but and, and plus two, you put your own uh, insight into it, and people want to come to it through their own sort of right. Yeah. Way. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, what'd you think of the de- debut of the last six episodes? Um. I it wasn't my favorite Mad Men episode ever. Yes. I mean it was Mad Men and I love everything about Mad Men. Yes. Um I kind of get the idea that they are going to um focus on one secondary character every episode to wrap up that storyline and they did that with Ken this week. Right. So are we going to talk spoilers cuz maybe we should warn people. All right. Well, w- well, yes, we are we might talk spoilers from from last night's episode. From last night, right. And S- it was such a busy night in TV. I imagine that there are people who were watching the Cardinals game and still have it on the DVR. Yes. Um so that's a that's a pretty good thought that um they might sort of write them off a- as they go along. So, so is Ken written off? Well, not not writ- written off, but his storyline is sort of sort of complete. Okay. I was worried that um, the big bearded guy was not going to show up. He finally showed up at the Who's end. Stan, I love Stan. Yeah, Stan was here on the show not not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they may have started Peggy on the road to happiness. Happiness. Oh, yeah. really? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and then, uh, what about Don? How about the the what woman? About Don. What about Don? It was kind of dark. <laughs> Very dark. And what about the waitress? That was a weird. That was weird too. Um, yeah, that actress is Elizabeth Reeser, and she um, she had never been in the show before. Yes, but she sort of looked like other women that he had been involved right. with. Right, he so kind he of has years. a look. He kind of has a look. Except he also has another look. He has the Betty look too. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. yes. The yeah, he's a he's got a lot of layers that Don Draper. So this doesn't give you any indication of what is to come, because I'm not seeing it yet, Gail. I DVR it. Or Don? Yeah. Yes. Um, no, he he seems to be happy in his work again, but he he certainly hasn't given up drinking. No, he hasn't given up drinking, and he hasn't give, given up the ladies. And who was no, the guy? Not given up the ladies at all. Who was the guy from McCann? That guy has played a weasel in everything he's ever done. Yeah, he has, and I can't tell you his name, but he, he as soon as you see him, you know he's going to be a weasel. Yeah, he's a weasel. He, I, he was a weasel in, like, 90210. He was a weasel. Oh, I got yeah. to Kelly, there's name. a scene of sexism um, at an advertising agency involving uh, Joan and... and um, that's just so offensive, and I'm so happy that Mad Men does this because I want women to realize that it used to be so horrible that mm-hmm. sexism not that long ago was just so horrible. Was mm-hmm. it was it that blatant, Gail? Well, it was that blatant. It was not that blatant for women who didn't look like Joan. Right. Mm-hmm. But, 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 but for- yes, a woman get, uh, doing a job interview would be asked the rudest questions. Illegal now. Right, right, right. But no, you're right. It's a good point. The whole show, though, is is, is that way. You, at every show you you sit and watch, and at the end of it, you say, "I can't believe the world was like that mm-hmm. at that point." Right, uh, but it's it's absolutely note perfect. That yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's tremendous. Only five episodes, though, so we had to wait a year for only six episodes. Seven episodes. Seven six episodes. More. Six more. Six more. All right. Mm-hmm. Are they going to have a? All right. Well, I don't, know. I don't know either. So it makes me sad just to think about just it. Just to even talk about it. Uh, all right. A lot of other things coming on this week. What else can we watch on TV this week? A lot week? of other things coming on this week. Yesterday I watched five episodes of the final season of Nurse Jackie with Edie Falco. Yes. Which is a show I haven't watched for probably three seasons. Yes. I'm, I'm back on board. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> all right. And I think people who who gave up on it in the middle because she, she plays a drug-addicted nurse who just got worse and worse and worse. I think people who gave up on it 
might be pleasantly surprised to see how quickly they can catch up. Hmm. Nurse Jackie seems like it's, it's been around a long time. That is next Sunday on Showtime, and it's a hugely busy Sunday because Game of Thrones comes back on HBO, my beloved Game of Thrones. Yes. And I'm about to do the same thing I did for Mad Men, which is sort of a refresher on where we left it. It's a very complicated show. I've had a number of people who say to me, boy, I really liked Mad Men, but I'm over it because it took so long to sort of tell the story. Are these shows like Nurse Jackie, Game of Thrones, Mad Men, are they in danger of being so long between seasons that they lose their audience? It doesn't seem to be happening. Yeah. Uh, people have, you know, gotten into the rhythm of finishing a part of one show and starting up on part of another show. Right. But a year And then, of course, long. there are new people jumping in all the time. Right. All right. Uh, but, I mean, I, I like, after binge-watching Mad Men, now I, I want to see, like, the s- six more episodes. Now I have to wait a whole week. Yes, exactly. So you could have just not watched last night. Well, I know. Just it's waited to get up. It's, it's just <laughs> like binge <laughs> watch the last six. Uh, what about this show with Billy Crystal on uh, FX? Oh, my. Billy Crystal and Josh Gad, both very funny guys. The show's called The Comedians, and it premieres Thursday on FX. We, along with the new season of Louie, another show that's been off the air for a very long time. Mm. It has a big following. Mm-hmm. Um, they play, Billy and Josh play um, partners on a late night sketch comedy show who hate each other. And the problem with it is that the show they're in is a terrible, terrible show. So we're forced to sit through a lot of really, really bad comedy. And people yelling and doing bad things to each other. So it's a bad show about two guys being on a bad show. You, yes, that <laughs> sums it up perfectly. <laughs> All right, Billy Crystal and Josh Gad right. on a mockumentary. Right. Uh, that's a yes, thir- it, yes, it is. It's a mockumentary. It's a, about a bad show. I tried to watch Louie, um, and then there was a disturbing scene where he was making out with this woman, and it was so disturbed me that I that I couldn't watch it ever again. The thing about Louie is that it makes you cringe, but it's making you cringe on purpose. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, it worked. It's it, very. It's a very smart show. You'll give yourself five years and then go back to it, and you'll then you'll want to talk about it after it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Gail Pennington. <laughs> Wait five years and then watch it again. Then you'll love it. Uh, Gail, that's have a. The, I call that the McGraw method. I think you should do a whole article on the the sexism of Mad Men and how and how it that's the way it it was and that's what women still have to deal with in some way, shape, or form today. It's just not Believe as blatant. Believe me, that's been written a lot of times. I think you should write it again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gail Pennington, have a good week. You too. Gail Pennington, Bye, Gail. TV critic with stltoday.com. You can read her uh, in the hometown newspaper that comes to your front doorstep or at 